Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Now in this video I wanted to talk to you about Nginx Proxy Manager. Uh, this isn't really a tutorial, it's more just an overview and if there's enough interest in it I would be more than happy to create a guide on how to set up Nginx Proxy Manager for yourself. But for now I just wanted to talk about why I installed it and what so uh, problems it solved for me. So before I jump into it, I just wanted to uh, quickly yeah, explain the brief reason why I needed it. So at the moment, uh, you might have seen a few of my previous videos uh, on self-hosting a lot of services like Nextcloud, and I also um, host my own website uh, all on a Raspberry Pi. Now the issue that eventually came up was how do I have my Nginx, sorry, my uh, Nextcloud accessible over the internet as well as my website and other services I might want to expose uh, to the internet as well, all via one IP address. Um, and that's when a reverse proxy came into the question. Now, a reverse proxy is, I will show you. So what we're looking at here is kind of just like the basics of how a reverse proxy happens is that people over the internet come over here um, and then they come via the internet and hit my uh, URL or whatnot so say if someone wanted to try to come into my uh, blog website it hits my proxy and then my proxy knows where to serve that right so people can come via just one ip address and depending on the url they're using say uh, nextcloud.techdocs or blog.techdocs that depends on where it goes on my local network right and that's actually managed via docker so it's pretty much determines which docker container uh, will be served depending on the url that's used i will demonstrate this in a bit as well but as you can see that was my problem without the proxy if people are trying to come in via one IP address, you know, I can only serve one domain name sort of thing and it was quite difficult. So the reverse proxy has definitely solved that for me. So this was the one I used was uh, the Nginx proxy manager. Uh, shout out to the Reddit subreddit uh, self-hosted because they suggested this one for me to try out. Um, now this one gives you a nice GUI interface other, rather than some reverse proxies you have to set up via all the uh, command line and just like config files and I just couldn't wrap my head around it, but this the GUI for the proxy manager is fantastic and I will go over it as well. Um, but yeah, this really saved my time and here you can see is the setup to host it in Docker. It was really easy. So pretty much, yeah, as soon as I had ran this, uh, a setup came into a config file and then um, I pretty much got this. So what you're looking at here, let me just zoom in and whatnot. So here, what you can see is that um, I have two proxy hosts set up and a redirection host. Um, so this is just where I can manage all of my URLs. So as I'm coming in from the internet, this URL will point to this local Docker container. This URL will go to this Docker container. And man, it, yeah, it's so efficient and it's so cool. And it also handles all my SSL certificates as well. So um, if I go to SSL certificates at the top here, um, so I have an SSL certificate for blog.techdocs and nextcloud.techdocs um, and that's all configured because my URL, I'm sorry, my IP address matches in Cloudflare where my domain is uh, managed um, and as soon as I have a subdomain set up, I can come in to add a SSL certificate. Uh, it's all managed by Let's Encrypt and I write the new domain name in and boom, I have a SSL certificate ready to assign. Uh, to my proxy. So setting up a proxy was so easy. Uh, all I had to do was go to um, the proxy host and then add proxy host. And the way this works is that I just, say if I made a new service, uh, what's a good example? Let's say I had like a web chat or something, right? And I my domain, my subdomain for the service was called chat. So I would do like chat.techdocs.nz, right? And then I hit add. And then here, what you can see here, it says hostname or IP address. Since I'm using Docker for all of this, all I have to do is tell it what Docker container the name is of that Docker container and it will point to it uh, because the Nginx proxy manager gives me a Docker network to attach all my containers to. Um, and yeah, it makes, honestly, it's, it's so easy. What I might actually do, I'm gonna demonstrate this. Um, I'm going to create a Nginx container um, and I'll show you me setting that up and then I'll show you how I can just distribute traffic to that container even though I'm already running a blog website on one port um, and I'm already running Nextcloud on another. So I'm coming into uh, Portana here which is uh, my tool that I use to manage uh, containers. Uh, if you're interested in Portana there will be a link in the description. Uh, they're a fantastic service hosted, uh, the team is uh, in New Zealand here. Uh, yeah, fantastic team and they make such a cool uh, service so I really recommend checking it out. But I am just going to deploy an Nginx server via this. So if I go to app templates, uh, Nginx, and I'll give this a name just called Nginx, uh, the network um, make, it has to be on the proxy manager network. 
and then all I have to do is pretty much deploy it. I don't have to worry about ports or anything exposing ports because that's all going to be handled by the proxy manager. So I will just come down here, make sure it's all good. Yep, this looks okay. Hit deploy the container, and now this will be deploy. Uh, this will deploy the container, um, and then as soon as that's deployed, I'll jump back into. Oh, first, I'll make sure the container is all good and uh, container, and then I will go and check the nginx proxy and i'll just make sure uh and i'll connect it all via there and then bam i'll, I'll show you connecting to it cool so we can see here we have nginx now running uh let me zoom in a little bit uh cool so all we need to do now is go to our nginx proxy manager and say hey look i want to connect to this one as well um and i'll make a url for this as well so for me to actually just connect to this all I have to do is just go, um, let's close this. All I have to do is actually just make a uh, subdomain for it first. So that's, that's how I'm gonna connect to this. So I'll just call this uh, uh, Nginx, very basic. And the IP address, I'll just quickly grab that. That's my public IP address and I don't mind sharing it because I host websites and whatnot. So it's all good. And I'm gonna hit save. So now that I have that uh, subdomain created, all the processes is if I want an SSL certificate, I just come here. Add SSL certificate, let's encrypt. And I say, uh, I have this subdomain here. I agree, save, and it's going to pull this stuff down. And it's going, cool, yep, um, that's all good for us to make that uh, certificate, and bam. If I go to dashboard now, and all I have to do is go to proxy hosts, and now I just add a proxy host, and the domain name was in uh, nginx.techdocs.nz add uh now this was the part that i said was so cool because all i have to do here is put the container name of my docker instance or docker container which is just nginx port forward port 80 because that's the uh port that the container is serving nginx on now we can go to ssl and we'll grab that cert we just made nginx we'll put some support on here i'm not going to force ssl just for the sake of this uh, and i hit save and now I should just be able to connect to nginx.tickdocs.nz and since I'm serving three different things on port 80, since I'm coming in via that domain name, it's going to hit my proxy manager and my proxy manager knows which container to serve. So I've just gone to the nginx.tickdocs.nz domain and you can see I've hit the nginx container. So it's that easy. Um, so that's pretty much how nginx proxy manager has solved my thing for me. So now if I go to uh, blog.tickdocs.nz, there's my blog. Um, and since I've also been redirecting traffic, uh, if you go to tickdocs.nz, you will just be redirected to blog uh, .tickdocs.nz because that's where I want to host my blog now. And I've been able to handle those redirections uh, just here. So anyone who comes to any of the U U uh, these URLs will be uh, redirected to the here and proxy manager handles all of that for me as well so this is such a fantastic service um and yeah so thanks again everyone at the self-hosted subreddit uh for suggesting this it's fantastic um yeah so if anyone's keen on a full walkthrough how to set this up please let me know but the documentation for actually setting it up is pretty easy um it's just the initial i think pro setting up the actual proxy part um with how you have to make sure that a docker container is running on that specific network and stuff that's what kind of tripped me over a little bit uh, but once i figured that out the rest was history yeah so fantastic service um really stoked with it and i uh yeah i hope you learned something from this video uh but yep thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video bye